there it is. I'm departing from my starting location somewhere in the middle of Fremont. And uh, look forward to the sunny weather today. Hope I don't get a sunburn. Interesting uh, crosswalk. There's also a sink in the ground. Riding the Segway from Fremont in Seattle all the way to Renton where I live. This will be a, about 21 miles. Uh, not the longest record. I set a longer record back in um, 2016. So a really steep hill. Kind of cool archway through the trees here. To watch for the sidewalk has weird stuff like that. That can throw you for a loop on a Segway if you're not careful. Big mounds like this too. They're uneven and they can spit you forward kind of quick. Here's another ledge. Got a transition over them like that. In the Segway, you're forced to go the wrong way, go down streets you're not supposed to and stuff because you're like a pedestrian. You find a way. steep over the edge. Fortunately, you're held in by a metal cage on both sides. Bert Gilman here. Um, Apple Maps wanted to send me the wrong way down 99, so I redirected, had to go down a steep staircase. We're gonna head back this way. It's a popular route Meg and I used to use. Update in a mile. Well, on my way back, I found this interesting outlet to stop at, right here. I'm gonna send Meg a message to let her know I made it. I'm near I-5 in Seattle. All the way down Bourne onto Rainier Avenue. That was quite an adventure. Uh, sidewalks miffed in a lot of spaces, a lot of uh, indigent people camped along the way. This is going to be a really interesting route. Quite the adventure so far. That last charge stop only got me up to 72%, so I'm going to have to stop for an extended period to pick up enough charge to make it up the hill. Oh, here we are down in the Rainier Valley. Uh, just had lunch at the Remo Borichini's, a uh, Italian uh, mozzarella, basil, and tomato sandwich. Not bad for four bucks. Um, it's an interesting area. Fully charged up at the Starbucks inside the Safeway. Now I'm at uh, 95%. It says I have 17 miles of range. We'll see. The hill usually kills it on the way up. To avoid going over driveways that are up and down, up and down, I've reverted to taking a bicycle lane on Lake Washington Boulevard or whatever this is here. It's like Rainier Avenue along the waterfront. Uh, it's a lot smoother on the main street than it is up on the sidewalk. There's a lot of twisty ankle benders and I've been on the scooter for hours now, so that would be a little intense. All right. Beautiful day today. Absolutely stunning. Middle, early, maybe 70 something. Haven't checked the weather, but it feels great. 
Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. I found an outlet in uh, an apartment garage basement. Just charging. So if I look out from our room here, you can see the right there. Well, I just went up Beacon Signal Hill Way, one of the steepest roads I know of. Um, this is the final stretch. My battery's down to the middle 20% range. That hill sapped it. Almost 30% of the battery capacity got used up climbing that hill. That's a very intense grade. All right, well, that's about the end of this video. Thanks again for watching. That was an epic 21 miles from Fremont to Middle Renton in the Fairwood area. Stay upright and happy. 73 and back to the net. You guys take care. Absolutely stunning day. Beautiful, gorgeous, full sun. You can't ask for a better one in September this far into the season. Wow, what a beautiful summer day. Almost back there. Take care, guys. Thanks again for watching.